don't think you just realized who this guy is. He's one of the greatest magicians of all time. He's walked on water, levitated, froze water, and even disappeared. But this time, he actually did. This is Stephen Frayne, but you probably all know him as Dynamo. Dynamo, you Dynamo. He was everywhere. News, TV, social medias, newspaper, you name it. Until one day, he just disappeared. But let's go back to 2011 when Dynamo was 29 years old and started to get noticed. In 2011 until 2014, Dynamo had his own television show with over four seasons called Dynamo Magician Impossible. And let's just say that the show went more than well because the show reached over 250 million viewers worldwide across 193 countries and also won awards like Best Entertainment Program and Broadcast Awards. Even though the show stopped, Dynamo wasn't done. Since in 2015, he announced his tour, Seeing is Believing. Friends' ambitions to the show were high, commenting to the press that he was hoping that like he did for Magic on TV, he could reinvent the live magic shows and produce something fans had never seen before. The show is a blend of intimate storytelling with large-scale illusions. Everything Dynamo was touching at the time turned into gold. I mean, even the show then traveled across the UK in places like Manchester, London, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Nottingham, Birmingham and Leeds. And performed for 400,000 people with over 110 shows. It was filmed in front of a live audience from the O2 Arena in London, making Dynamo the first magician to ever headline an arena show. But he wasn't done there either. There was such high demand for tickets that the show was extended for three years. We're not talking a week or a month. We're talking three years. Making him do 145 shows in three continents. He sold over 750,000 tickets and filled arenas across the UK, Australia, New Zealand and South Africa. He even says, Gave me time to have a lot of new ideas. And I felt like I wanted to try and bring some of those ideas to life. But some of those ideas had to get put on hold because shortly after that, Dynamo got really sick. One day at 10 o'clock when he was getting ready to go to bed, he got a horrible feeling in his stomach and decides to go to the bathroom. Dynamo has Crohn's, so every now and then he would get these kind of feelings in his stomach and usually only feel uncomfortable for 30 minutes and then it would pass. But this time, it wasn't going away until he started vomiting blood and got rushed to the hospital. He later found out that he got food poisoning, but not any kind of food poisoning. We're talking about the worst kind of food poisoning you can get. That combined with his Crohn's only made it worse since it caused the Crohn's to spread another part of his body and that caused him to get arthritis. A few months later that he got out of the hospital and got over the food poisoning part, he tried to move on with his life. He tried holding cards and doing things that he could actually do in his sleep. But as he says, But suddenly I was getting like shooting pains in my joints and I was, it was like electric shocks. I was like, I couldn't hold the cards anymore. But Dynamo never had an easy life. His mother got abused, he was being bullied in school and in 1986, his dad went to jail. So he was never there. And of course, since Dynamo was only four years old, he didn't really understand what it meant. It wasn't until I was a lot older that I kind of understood that he'd gone away and why he'd gone away and, you know. He says that all he remembers is him going out and then just never coming back. But then 15 years later, when he was performing at a wine bar called Revolution in Bradford, he gets called by the manager of the bar and tells him, oh, There's a gentleman that says he's your dad. There's come to see you, he said, oh, I'm Dynamo's dad. Dynamo felt weird since he didn't grow up with a father figure, so he didn't really feel like he had a dad. So he told the manager to tell him that he's busy, so if he could come back a few days later when he wasn't busy. And a few days later, you guessed it, he showed up. And when the two met, the father didn't say I'm sorry or tried reconnecting with his son. But he actually said, You've got a, you know, I see you've got a little crew around you. Do any of your, your friends want to help shift some stuff for me? And when he says stuff, he doesn't mean legal stuff. So then I felt like, wow, I haven't seen my dad for 15 years. And the first thing he does is ask me to help him sell drugs and involve me in other illegal activities. But then magic came into his life and changed everything. And the way he found magic, or should I say the way magic found him, isn't very common. Dynamo would get bullied every single day at school. One day his grandpa came to pick him up from school and he always came a little bit early because he never wanted to be late when picking Dynamo up. I witnessed what was happening to him, but he never got involved until one day his grandpa told him that when they were going to get home, he was going to show him some things that would help him. Dynamo started thinking that this was going to be like Karate Kid Mr. Miyagi, but no, he showed him magic. I told him that every time he would perform these tricks, he would get positive attention. Dynamo was scared to try this because he was already seen as the weirdo, as the outcast, and magic wasn't really cool at the time, but then he tried it and he started getting the positive attention he was looking for. The 6th of November 2020 is when it all changed because this was Dynamo's darkest time. I don't feel like I have the right to talk about this because it's a very personal topic, so I will leave a link down below where Dynamo himself talks and speaks about what happened on this day. 
But don't worry, because almost exactly three years after his darkest time, on the 13th of November 2023, everything changed. Because after six years of complete silence, this video was uploaded out of nowhere and started going viral. Are you watching closely? Dynamo allowed me to soar to impossible heights. To walk on water. To break barriers. But the greatest trick he ever pulled was convincing the world I didn't exist. So what happens when he vanishes? If I'm not Dynamo, who am I? To do something I've never done, I need to become someone I've never been. Myself. Time, Time for, for the, the next, next act. Reaching over millions of views across all platforms. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, you name it. Everyone is reposting the video, including myself, and commenting how much they missed him and how glad they are that he's back. This was Dynamo, or should I say Stephen Frayne, announcing his brand new TV show on Sky, Dynamo is Dead. We're so glad you're back. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like these, please consider subscribing. It would really help me out and mean the world to me. My name is Thardini. Peace out.